Jeffrey does what he feels like. Of course, he feels like eating junk food, playing video games and fapping. And so he does just that. Adonis. Adonis doesn't indulge in his impulses. Adonis views his feelings with interest and then he does the right thing anyway. His feelings tell him to lie in bed, but he gets the fuck up and he goes and works out. professional youtuber Sam you will succeed whilst others fail because the majority of people listen to their feelings but modern addictions have manipulated those feelings by being on this self-improvement slash dopamine detox path you will build willpower Willpower is the skill of disobeying the lizard brain. I know that you've seen those cringy YouTube videos that say that willpower isn't needed. But, but, but Hamza, you, you don't need willpower because willpower depletes and, and, and you can just lock, you can just delete the apps, Hamza. You can just throw away the junk food, Hamza. You can just lock your gaming setup in a- Shut up, boy. Sorry about that, boys. That was a bit aggressive, wasn't it? Those kind of tactics work temporarily. Tem those kinds of tactics of throwing away the junk food or throwing away the cigarettes or deleting the apps or setting a, a fucking website blocker on YouTube, those are just temporary. How do you say that word? I'm tired of being a retard, Sam. Temporary. I might actually, I might actually be disabled. Temporary. 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 English isn't my first language. We want lifelong willpower. That's what most people don't have. Most people will rely on the environment to work in their favor. And yes, environment is fantastic. Set up your environment to work for you. Great idea, seriously, great idea. But your environment cannot always work for you. Sooner or later, you're gonna have the addiction in front of you. And quite frankly, you are not physically and mentally disabled. You probably are, but you're not, okay? Let's be honest, you're not. You throw away the junk food. Are you too disabled? What What would even, what type of person would you need to be who would be unable to go and get more junk food? You could go get more. You throw away the alcohol or the junk food. Are you literally that incapable of going to the shop to buy some more? Of course not. Whatever the addiction you're trying to cure, whatever the lizard brain pushes you towards, eventually you will have it right in front of your eyes. You need to have the willpower at that point to say no to those former addictions. That's the best case scenario, to have the, the former addiction right in front of you and for you to say no. I kept a salted caramel chocolate bar on my desk for around two months. I ate two pieces of it over two months. The old me would have ate the entire, it was one of those galaxy bars like this big, like 100 grams or something. But the old me would have ate it on the first day, all of it. It's not, you know, it's like 600 calories, wherever it is. It's not that big, right? The old me would have ate all of it. I used it as a practice for my willpower. I kept it right in front of me as I worked. That's how you increase your willpower. That's how you challenge yourself. That's how you know that you're at that fantastic point where your willpower is high enough that you can have the addiction right in front of you and you're unfazed by it because the chocolate will get in front of you at some point. Do not rely on normal people's advice of locking away your, your gaming console or something because it will be in front of you. This is the point where there's always someone who comments, oh, but so uh, if there was a heroin, heroin addict, would you give them heroin and tell them to just look at the heroin? Just shut up, bro. Are you like, are you literally dumb? Don't bring up some, some weird fucked up example. Like that's different. Are you a heroin addict? No, okay. You probably you sound like one, you retard. Don't bring up stupid shit. What's realistic? Realistic is you are a video game addict. You are a internet, you are an addict to YouTube, right? So the damas guide to YouTube, lowering your YouTube time is, oh, go and get this, go and get this website blocker and then you won't be allowed on YouTube anymore. Like, shut up. Are you a pussy that you need some kind of website blocker that you can literally just disable when you want? How many of those little shitty tactics will you go through because all you're doing is is like covering your eyes and saying oh uh, i can't watch youtube if i can't see how long are you going to keep your hand up there eventually you're going to bring your hand out and you're going to go back to being a zombie what you need is to actually stop being a zombie in the first place you need to stop wanting to look at it stop wanting the chocolate if all you're doing is throwing the chocolate away and covering your eyes instead of going onto youtube 
all you're doing is like a nice short term thing that you can boast about to people. Like, oh, uh, yesterday I threw away all my junk food. Yesterday, hi, Hamza, I, I deleted the social media apps. You're a little bitch. You're a pussy. Don't tell me you've deleted the social media apps. Tell me you've been building up some willpower. Keep the apps on your phone. That's the only way that you're actually going to make some real progress. You delete them, you get them back again. No progress. You add on the little shitty website blocker for YouTube, no progress. Willpower is limited. You've heard, you've probably heard this on the YouTuber's advice. Willpower is limited. It depletes. Well, guess what? No one's, no one's put this into words. That's how we train willpower. We want it to deplete. How is this like new news? I thought this was like common sense of how it worked. Willpower is a skill and it gets depleted and that's how we level it up. This is literally like when people say, oh, but willpower gets de depleted. So, so don't, don't reply on, don't rely on willpower. That's like saying, oh, but, but your, your muscles lose strength after you've exhausted them. So, so, so never work out because if they lose strength, then surely they would lose strength for the rest of your life. No, dumbass. What happens is that our muscles lose strength because we've worked them out and tomorrow they get bigger, they get stronger. Your willpower muscle gets depleted when you have to use willpower today, when you've got the chocolate in front of you today, when you've got the YouTube app or whatever the f*** you're, you're addicted to, when you've got it in front of you today, and for as long as possible, you say no, your willpower gets depleted. And when your willpower gets depleted, you've just got a willpower level up. The reason why your willpower level is so low is because you won't allow your willpower to get depleted. You see the you see the addiction and you're like, oh, 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 let me eat it quick, let me eat it quick, quick, quick. Oh, there's a chocolate, let me go throw it away. Let me, let me put the website blocker on, that's why. That's why you might be one of these people I'm, I'm talking about who will fail. You might be different and you might succeed whilst others fail if you realize that willpower is a skill that you're training whether or not you like it every single day. Every time you choose not to indulge, your willpower skill level goes up. But what's inside of the skill gets used. Your container of willpower gets bigger, but what's inside of it gets drained. But it's not a long-term drain. It's just short-term. It's just a drain up until you rest. And when you wake up tomorrow, your willpower's back at maximum potential. The title of this video, honestly, isn't really clickbait. I genuinely think that if you're someone who's watching a video and you've watched this far without being a fucking zombie, without clicking around, you have a pretty good chance of succeeding whilst others fail. Because most people wouldn't really know what willpower is. It's just like a, a word in their vocabulary. They wouldn't really know it. They wouldn't be watching a video on, on willpower. They wouldn't be on self-improvement. They won't be on dopamine detoxing. There's a big chance that you will succeed whilst others fail. And so let's actually dive deeper into this. How can we increase the container of willpower? How can we increase how much willpower you have? It's a very interesting question. Now, long term, your container of willpower is increased by leveling it up, by not indulging in the instant gratification, by delaying gratification, your willpower gets increased. Then there's actually very, very interesting, very interesting points to your willpower because sleep, good quality sleep would increase your willpower, wouldn't it? Imagine you had shitty sleep. You wake up tomorrow, you're feeling groggy, you only slept for a couple of hours, you were tossing and turning. Well, tomorrow, going on to Uber Eats and ordering some slightly unhealthy foods is going to look real, real appetizing compared to actually cooking your own healthy meals, isn't it? In general, anything to do with instant gratification. So the more drugs you take, the more Netflix and YouTube you watch, the more porn you watch, you're, of course, going to be lowering your willpower. Now, what's interesting is that willpower would, of course, be improved by meditation. If you didn't know already, meditation is like this magic pill that, that improves all the rest of your life, but you won't believe it up until you start doing it. And anything that we talk about in self-improvement, meditation literally helps with. And it's literally ridiculous how some people I speak to give me the same line as always. Still, to this day, the same line as always, as if they haven't watched my videos. Like, oh, I, I tried meditating uh, three times, but it didn't work for me. Oh, shut up. <sighs> you watching this, you watching this, will succeed whilst other people fail because you're not an imbecile, hopefully. You're someone who meditated three times, didn't feel much from it, and knew, because he's not an imbecile, that you've got to do something more than three times to see a significant effect to it. And that's so weird. Like I know we're slightly going off the willpower. Welcome to the unfiltered section, boys. Sam, can we get a yay? The unfiltered section is a special part of my videos because all of the people with low attention spans have already clicked off the video. So roughly 15% of people are still watching. I appreciate you being here. We can speak unfiltered. Most people are pathetic. Most people literally 
have this mindset. Most people will be failures because they've got this mindset, like I just said about meditation. Most people would meditate three times. Oh, it didn't work, so I quit. Most people will not delay gratification because they're so used to instant gratification. They're so used to doing something and getting the immediate... That was such a shit. Oh, they're so used to doing something and getting the immediate feedback loop straight away. They're so used to playing the game and getting that dopamine and feeling good about themselves. They're so used to eating the junk food and getting the nice taste on their taste buds. They're so used to that, that when they actually try and do something that's a little bit difficult, meditation is profoundly difficult. When they try and do something hard, they don't enjoy it. They actually, it's like their brain doesn't let them. They're not bad people. It's like they're literally, their brain's so fucked up that the brain won't even let them believe that something like meditation with millions of people suggesting it would actually give you a benefit if you stuck to it. They do it a couple of times and then they quit. That's why most people will fail. And hopefully if you're watching, if you're watching this far, honestly, you probably are pretty similar to me. You're probably liking the stuff I say and you probably are meditating. You will succeed whilst others fail. Let's talk about the willpower of the masses. They have none. The, the masses, the average person, the drones around you, they indulge in impulses as they come. They identify with their thoughts. This is why meditation is so important for willpower because it is your thought that is the problem. It is the lizard brain that is the problem. Imagine if your lizard brain was hyperactive and it was constantly telling you to eat the junk food, to, to watch the porn, to watch the YouTube video, to play the video games, to indulge in the drug. That's what most people's lizard brains are like. And most people, most people do as they feel. Most people feel something in their brain. They hear their own words in their brain telling them to go and eat the junk food. And then they are that thought. They are that brain because they haven't meditated. Meditation allows you to witness that thought instead of being the thought. You're no longer craving chocolate. You are now experiencing the thought, looking at the thought that's telling you to eat chocolate. And so now it's like, you just find it interesting. That's how meditation will improve your willpower. What happens to the willpower of the average person? Their willpower not only gets depleted, but their container gets smaller. The amount of willpower that they could deplete gets smaller and smaller the more they indulge in instant gratification. And eventually the container isn't big enough. It literally, physically, whatever analogy it is, it wouldn't be big enough to allow them to disobey their lizard brain about certain vices. This is how addictions start. This is like the pro science version of addictions is that eventually your willpower gets depleted and depleted and depleted and depleted and the addiction gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Eventually your willpower is literally too small to say no to things. Like that's a weird way to think about it. It's like actually a scary way to think shit. Like you might not actually have a chance. You might literally, your, your willpower, if this is the thing that gets you to disobey the lizard brain, this is, if this is too small, you literally couldn't disobey the lizard brain and that's scary. And so let's say if you're in this position right now, you're not because you're watching this video, you, you've certainly not that small of a willpower, but your family member is and one of your friends is. The people who are, t who, the people who are alcoholics and taking drugs very, very regularly have this small willpower. How could you help them? It's tricky to help someone like that. But the way that I'll quickly tell you is you have to set the bar real, real low. Keep imagining willpower as this container, like a bucket, and their bucket of willpower is so small that they can no longer say no to the addiction. If you're trying to get your family member to stop smoking or drinking or whatever bad behavior, it's all pretty much impossible for them to do it right now. Why? Because they haven't practiced. They've got to practice and increase their willpower container, the willpower bucket first. And let's say the bucket has to be this big to stop someone, or at least, you know, once, get them to say no to alcohol, but their container's this big. Well, we'll make the container bigger by them saying no to something smaller than their main addiction. So we start them off smaller, literally progressive overload that you've learned in the gym. You've got an alcoholic mother and you really want to help her. If you focus on reducing her alcohol intake, you will fail her. Her willpower is not enough for that. What you've got to do is tap into her will, get her to tap into her willpower to say no to the junk food, which might not be her main addiction. And she might, you know, every now and then like say no to the junk food. When she says no to the junk food, her container has just gotten a little bit bigger. Then you get her 
to not watch the movie on Netflix and instead go out with you for a walk. Well, the bucket's got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Do that for a while. Eventually, the bucket is big enough for her to then deplete her willpower to say no to the alcohol. You could genuinely change your parents or your families or your friends' lives with this type of knowledge. So I said at the start that willpower is the skill of disobeying your lizard brain and the lizard brain is your problem. There isn't many problems other than the lizard brain unless if someone has put it onto you. In terms of you, in terms of your own self-improvement, the only reason why you struggle with self-improvement is because of the lizard brain. It's because you keep hearing your own word, words, your own voice inside of your head telling you to skip the workout, telling you to eat the junk food, telling you to do the opposite of your goals. And so willpower disobeys the lizard brain. That means that willpower determines your ability to delay gratification. That is everything. That's everything that we want. If you want to make some progress in your self-improvement, that's exactly what you want. And this is why those videos piss me off that I see on YouTube. Even by YouTubers are really like saying, oh, oh forget about willpower. Your willpower is not needed. Oh, willpower is depleted. Oh, oh, oh. Shut up, bro. Willpower is what you need to make these changes. Just by throwing away the junk food, you're not actually giving yourself that huge benefit to increase your ability to delay gratification. You're not disobeying the lizard brain. You're just making a big righteous move like, hey, everyone, I, I threw away the junk food. Well, congratulations, but you're going to buy it again. And again and again and again, you're going to keep buying the, the substance because you haven't actually stopped your addiction to the substance. You haven't increased your ability to delay gratification. All you've done is just waste your money by throwing shit out. As always, following the advice of 99% of people will get you the advice of the 99%. How many people have ever told you the drug that you're addicted to, keep it in front of you? I'm potentially the one person. I am a binge eater. I am addicted to chocolate and sugar. I kept a chocolate bar in front of me. The, the type of chocolate bar that I fucking love, man. Salted caramel. I kept it in front of me for two months. It's still downstairs. Like I, after a while, I ate like two pieces over the two months and eventually just kept on leaving little bits of caramel on my desk. It's still in the drawer downstairs. That's how you bring your willpower up. And again, we want to, we want to deplete our willpower. You'll succeed whilst others fail because you're in this lifestyle. You've literally just watched the video of some guy talking about willpower and talking about keeping a chocolate bar on his desk. Most people wouldn't do this. That's what's setting you apart. Do the hard work, especially if you don't feel like it.